Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about Jalaplon. What is this drug Jalaplon? The prefix Z indicates this drug is a Z hypnotic. We have few of the other drugs starting with the letter Z such as Jolpidem, Jopiclone. All these are Z hypnotics and they are also classified as non-benzodiazepine hypnotics. That means these drugs are not structurally related with benzodiazepines but still they can act as benzodiazepines. That's why they are classified as hypnotics and here jalaplon is a non-benzodiazepine belonging to pyrazolo pyrimidine category. So it is not having the benzodiazepine ring instead it is having a pyrazolo pyrimidine ring. And these jet hypnotics can be used in the treatment of insomnia. So this jalaplon can be used in the patients who are having difficulty falling asleep. In such patients, jalaplon increase the induction of sleep. That's why this drug should be given before the bedtime in order to induce the sleep in the patients. But at the same time, this drug is not indicated for chronic insomnia, which may be due to any underlying pathological disorders where this drug is somewhat ineffective. So the main indication of this drug in the patients with insomnia for acute period due to any disturbance in the sleep cycles or change in the location or any factor which produce difficulty in sleep that can be treated by jalaplon. So today in this video we are going to discuss about this jalaplon, how this drug acts, what is the mechanism of action, what are the important precautions, side effects, doses and chemical nature. All these things we will discuss in this video. So first of all, let us start with the chemical nature of this drug. This is the structure of jalaplon. And here we can observe one of the function group that is nothing but estamide with ethyl substitution on the nitrogen. So N-ethyl estamide is a suffix of the name. And it is also having the phenyl group on the nitrogen. So N-phenyl. But to this phenyl ring at the third position, it is having a fused heterocyclic ring system. So let us give the numbering. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now this ring system is attached by 7th position. Then what is this ring system? Here we can observe the two types of heterocyclic rings. One is the pyrazole and second one is the pyrimidine. So this ring system is nothing but pyrazole or pyrimidine. And this ring is attached at the third portion of phenyl ring. So 3 dash pyrazole 15 5 pyrimidine 7 aisle. That is attachment on the phenyl ring. And this pyrazole pyrimidine ring is having a cyano group at the third position. So we can represent this as 3 cyano. That is a complete name of jalaplon. So jalaplon is a pyrazole pyrimidine derivative. Now let us see how this drug acts. So within the CNS, GABA A receptors are expressed, which are inotropic receptors and pentameric in nature. They are made up of five subunits. Now GABA can bind to this GABA A receptors, which is facilitated by jalaplon. Now jalaplon can bind to an accessory site on GABA A receptors so that it can facilitate the binding of GABA to the GABA A receptors which opens the chloride channel so chlorine can enter which produces hyperpolarization. So this hyperpolarization produces a inhibitory response resulting in the decreased agitation, increased sedation, increased hypnosis, induction of sleep and amnesia, some loss of memory muscle relaxation and loss of sensation can be observed with this jalaplon. Since this drug produces some muscle relaxation and amnesia, this drug should be carefully given in the elder patients where a low dose of jalaplon should be used in order to reduce the side effects produced by this drug. Now let us see the precautions of jalaplon. Just like other benzodiazepines, jalaplon again produces some sedation as well as drowsiness in the patients. Particularly, this is more significant when this jalaplon is given along with alcohol, otherwise with CNS depressants such as opioids, barbiturates, such combinations can further increase the sedation as well as drowsiness. So they should be carefully combined with this jalaplon. Since this drug produces sedation, it can impair the motor performance. So it can reduce the driving performance as well as the working with machinery. So care should be taken in the patients with such activities when this jalaplon is going to be prescribed. 
Similarly, this drug can produce some abnormal behavior within the patients. It can produce some hallucinations and even it can produce some sleep driving, which is more important. And it can also produce some strange behavior. There may be an enhanced preparing and eating of food, sleepwalking or making phone calls without any intention. All these types of strange behavior can be observed with this jalaplon, which should be closely monitored. Similarly, this drug can produce some anaphylaxis as well as anaphylactoid reactions. So it can produce some swelling of lips, glottis, larynx, even it can produce some dyspnea, difficulty in breathing and nausea and vomiting. All this can be observed with this jalaplon because of anaphylaxis. Similarly, this drug should be carefully given to the patients who are having some depression because this drug can further increase the depression and it can increase the suicidal thoughts within the patients. What are the side effects? The important side effects of this drug mainly include headache, some eye as well as ear pain, somnolence, sleepiness in the patients, sedation, dizziness, hallucination, some strange behavior can be observed, dry mouth, skin rashes, angioedema and dyspnea, difficulty in breathing can be observed within the patients. How it is given? Jalaplon is available as capsule at a strength of 5 mg as well as 10 mg. The initial dose of the drug is started at 10 mg given before bedtime or even just after getting onto the bed in the patients who are having difficulty in sleeping. In such patients, the 10 mg of the dose can be given in order to induce the sleep. And the dose can also be increased up to 20 mg based on the efficacy of the drug. So the maximum dose is 20 mg again given before the bedtime. But in the elder patients or the patients with any renal or hepatic dysfunction, the dose should be reduced. So this drug is given at 5 mg before bedtime. And the maximum dose in such patients is only 10 mg. So jalaplon is a non benzodiazepine that belongs to pyrazolopyrimidine category and it acts as hypnotic for short term treatment of insomnia. So that's about this drug Jalaplon. That's for today. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. Post your comment in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.